Uh, hello beautiful blockchain people as I mentioned in my earlier posts I started learning Solidity so this is the main programming language used for the Ethereum blockchain and uh, sometimes I will upload simple videos where I will uh, make some simple smart contracts with Solidity and today I will make a very simple smart contract consisting of a couple of let's say uh, lines so it will be something very easy and I will sometimes upload such kind of video so let's start I will write a very simple smart contract first we have to write the solidity version so this is the Pragma Solidity version. Let's use one of the latest ones. So this is one of the latest version of the Solidity language. Here we put some kind of license for our smart contract. Of course, it's not uh, necessary to always have this license, but it is, let's say, preferable to have one but just to show that it works without this line of code I will delete it and now let's write the contract so let's call this contract this smart contract my contract and this is uh, like a convention to use this kind of let's say upper cases and uh, let's uh, de uh, define one variable of type string so let's call it name so this is a variable of type string this is one of the most uh, famous or popular types of variables not only in solidity but in many programming languages and I will uh, also add two functions the first one will be set name so we will accept one argument that is also of type string so let's call it input and this function will set the name of the variable name then we will write another function that will get the name so that the user will be able to check what the value of this name is so let's say this function will have the name get name and it won't receive any input or I mean it doesn't need any parameters so these are these two functions of course I have some warnings here and we will fix them now because uh, uh, we have to add some logic into this function so this is the first one so this will be a public function so that everybody is able to uh, call this function and to use this function from this smart contract so let's set the name variable the value of this name variable to the name of uh, to the value of this argument in our case input so this is uh, what this function will make for us here we have some kind of warning that data location must be memory or call data so when we use this argument in our function we have to store some where this uh, let's say a value so we will make it a memory so now everything is fine with our function now we have a variable we use the set name function to set the value of this variable of course we can use this um, function many many times so it means that we can change the value of this variable of course we can preset the value of this name to let's say uh, Peter later we will change it and here is get name so here let's use this function in order to get the value of this variable so here this function should return the name variable of course this function have to uh, has to be public as well and uh, we have a small warning here it says that we need 
to define a different number of arguments in the return statement is because we don't uh, say that this function returns a variable of type string. So here we can, we should say, yes, memory again. And we have another small warning that this function can be of type the the state function state can be restricted to view because we just use this function to view the value of this variable so this is our smart contract it's very simple once again we have a smart contract with the name my contract it has just one variable of type string name initially we set the value of this name to p better. Then we have two functions, public functions, so that everybody can call this function or use these functions. The first one is set name. We use this function to set or to change the value of this variable. Of course, uh, we accept one parameter of type input, of type string. And here we use another function, getName, that's also public. It just views the, var the variable, the value of the variable name and returns this uh, value. Now this is the remix ID. It's a very popular ID. Probably you are familiar with it if you use Solidity. I use autocompile so that it has already compiled my uh, a smart contract and now we can deploy it so this is uh, what I will use the remix virtual machine one of our accounts so this is the everything is in this remix ID and we will simply deploy this contract so let's deploy this contract okay everything has gone just perfectly because we see that our console has uh, locked this information this is our transaction this is our hash and here is our contract my contract so here we can use the get name function by clicking this button and it returns the name peter because the initial value of our variable is peter and now we can set the name again so we can change the value of this variable so let's say uh, we change the name to nikolai so now we call this function everything has gone just fine because we see that uh, we have a successful transaction and now if we check the value of the variable name it should be nikolai so it used to be better now it's Nikolai so this is a very simple smart contract and uh, once again I will upload such kind of example in, in the near future again writing some kind of smart uh, simple smart contracts of course fellas if you're interested in solidity write some comments below let's exchange uh, some knowledge because I'm learning now solidity I started a couple of months ago, so I'm a beginner and it will be very useful for us if we exchange some knowledge. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one.